Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Paddle Life TV for 2023, the show that brings you all the action of agri canoe racing and ocean paddling in Queensland, Australia. I'm your host, Kai Millen, and in this episode, we cover all the action up in Cairns, far north Queensland. Paddlers travel from all across Australia for two epic weekends of ocean racing here in Paradise. First, we check out the action from the AO Ozone R2 Mini G 20 km downwinder from Yorkies Knob to Alice Beach. Everybody. My name's Charlie. This is? I'm Crystal. Crystal, uh, we're from the Hakili Outrigger Club and we are just so stoked to welcome so many paddlers to far north Queensland. The surf's pumping, the wind is going to be up and uh, we are going to have the ride of our lives to Ellis Beach today for the AOR2 Ozone Mini G Downwinder. It's quite a mouthful but we are really excited to be a part of, a part of the Downwind series this year. It really is another feather in the cup. It's another feather in the cap for this race, which of course uh, has for so long been the little sister of the Big G, the Great Barrier Reef Ocean Challenge, but this is uh, the time for it to come of age, and Mini G is now a fantastic race in its own right. We're going to see that out on the water today. We've got some special people looking over us from above. Uh, we're going to be remembering Den, our brother from the Torres Strait, and also Toppy, who uh, we'll be wearing on our sleeves and in our hearts on this special bright orange, Toppy orange rashy that uh, will be a feature of Mini G and G Brock this year. Crystal has been working so hard behind the scenes with her team of volunteers to make sure that things go smoothly. Everyone's greeted with a smile and have a great time here for Mini G and G Brock. G Brock, race, stay, play and repeat is the hope for this year. What is it? Race, stay, play, repeat. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, an OC2. It's my first ocean race out here. I've come out of dragon boating and this is uh, a bit wild, a lot of fun, and uh, going to learn a bit along the way. Hopefully not get tipped over too many times. <laughs> Catch no runs. healing from us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty excited. Uh, I'm Sean Murphy from Auckland, New Zealand. Um, come over, last time I did this was 2019. So a uh, little bit shorter course than I'm normally used to. Normally used to doing the Murray or ultra distance races. So next week's race will be better for me, but yeah, looking forward to it. All right, hey, my name's JB. I've come up from Sydney and I'm here with a bunch of awesome guys that have all come in for the foiling discipline up here at the Mini G. And also some of us are doing the G Brock next week. Um, we're super stoked to be invited up again. Uh, the Hercule Club's been unreal last year and just been so welcoming this year again to bring us in. It's a really awesome place. Conditions are a bit different to what we're used to, where we're sort of more of a, a coastal surf style of downwinding, whereas here is very inside reef. It's, it's nearly like a bay run on steroids, but there's still some big bombs out the back. We've been doing two runs a day for the week leading up to this, getting as much practice in as we can. And it's just such an epic angle, a great backdrop. The water's fantastic, and as I said, the crew here, man, look at 185 competitors. They've got to be so stoked with the turnout, and we're just absolutely stoked to be a part of it. So we're definitely coming back again next year, and we look forward to G-Brock. But today, it's all about Mini G, and we're hanging for it.
so much fun to be honest, like catching waves all the way, great sets, like oh, it was just a cracker and coming into that finish line, oh, it was just so much fun. Yeah, it was. you were just so worried about having the carnage at the end, but I, yeah, thankfully I didn't. <laughs> there were a few that did though, which was good for us spectators, so yeah. Yeah, look, it was, it was actually a lot of fun. Um, we, um, we've paddled together a few times now um, and on the Puyo or the Komano OC2, which is a, a bit of a, a freak out on the waves. Um, so it was just a matter of just keeping a nice steady steady pace. And uh, when the when the holes and when the runners presented themselves, just yeah, just apply a bit more pressure and, and run with them. Um, so no, we were really happy with how we went, yeah. All right, uh, we're here at the uh, Mini G finishing line with a couple of us at Paddle on the Skis. Jenny's first race on a brand new ski today. How'd you go, Jen? Went really well. Um, got to Palm Cove and fell off there. It was my first fall in. <laughs> All the day, so I was very proud of myself and got around the corner there and fell off again. So, only twice, and yeah, and made it home here. So, yeah, quite proud that I did it. Yeah. Lots of little runs to catch along the way. Some really nice little runs, especially when I uh, get to the 2k mark there and turned. It was fantastic. Yeah, put some nice runs. Under 19 girls that are going to be heading to the world long distance titles in Samoa in August, which isn't far away. Uh, we're at the Mini G. Uh, we've just completed the Mini G uh, as one of the last training sessions the girls have been doing in their very hectic training and also school lives to um, get to Samoa and represent Australia. So in the team, we only just got four of them here today. Um, it is unfortunate the other two couldn't make it to this, but we did have a wonderful under 16 join the team so they could do the OC6. Alina, oh Alani, I knew I'd get that wrong. Alani, we've got Eliana from Mission Beach. She's in the under 19 crew. We've got Azaria, her sister, in the under 19 crew, and Charlotte. Uh, the other two are obviously training hard and resting up, and we'll be meeting the crew out, um, on the journey to Samoa. But I wanted to ask the girls how their training's been going. So girls, what have you been up to over the last couple of months training? Well, we've been on the water as much as we can, as you can imagine. Uh, we've been on off water training with workouts and fitness and running sometimes even so it's been it's been pretty hectic but we're almost there and it's so exciting it is a very exciting opportunity for you all and how's your um, under 16 team going oh they're going amazing we're all just all together all sorted and we're all really excited to go over we are trained hard and we just want to see all our training come together at, at the Worlds. Wonderful, wonderful. And I guess you're really pumped because you're representing Australia over there. So Eliana, how has it been trying to study and also train? Um, pretty good. Like, I'm only in year 11 and some of the other girls are in year 12, which is obviously a lot harder. <laughs> but um, it's it's been, like, hard to keep on top of everything and like with due dates and going away and traveling and everything it's been a bit difficult but like you We've just it it's work. worth it yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've certainly made it work and they've made it work even better because i know that not only the mission beach community be behind the under 19 girls but the communities and wherever we've come from have been supporting these girls tremendously and they do have a gofundme page do you want to just explain about that um, yeah, well, we've got a GoFundMe page. Uh, we've been so generous with support from everyone. My family, uh, you guys' family, just it's been amazing. And we've had fundraiser nights at our club in Mission Beach. And again, just support everywhere. <laughs> it's so good. Wonderful. And as the excitement builds, we will be here back in Australia cheering you on to do your best. So well done, girls. Stay tuned as we bring you all the action from the iconic 45 km Great Barrier Reef Ocean Challenge.
Well, g'day kids, it's 2023 G Brock. Absolutely massive day on the paddling calendar. Now, last week we were here for the Mini G, and the Mini G was a little bit choppier. If you just have a look today at the conditions. So, this is what's going to have to happen for all of these paddles today. What they're going to have to do is get out there, head in that direction just towards Port Douglas, and paddle really, really, really hard. Got to be a tough day at the office, but look, these guys have done all the training. It's going to be a massive day, 2023, with Barry Lee paddling on the beautiful waters up here in Cairns. This place is very special to our people. Um, in this, this area, obviously, we've got stories that, that connect to this land, um, the sea here, and uh, those traveling today up along the coast to Port Douglas is all of our country. The very, very special places all along here. And uh, most of these areas are connected to a story of how the Great Barrier Reef was created. And so that's why it's so special um, that everyone could come here um, and, and spend some time on that beautiful place and passing all these special places. So don't forget, as you're traveling, don't forget, um, you, know, um, you know, just, just embrace and appreciate uh, the land and the sea this beautiful landscape that we have here. Um, there's no place like home, as we say. Um, but in my language, wish you all in good spirits today. And um, yeah, have a good day. Thank you.
so Alex Paulo and I'm on a single ski. Um, had a had a good race. I um, managed to nearly catch up to the double ski, but they got away from me at the end. So uh, that was that was hard work though. Once again, the, the wind died down a little bit. So if it had been a few days ago, it would have been a hook and race. But um, today, it definitely tested everyone's resolve. We were open women changeover team. Um, Malulaba. Malulaba using Hikili's beautiful lightweight Malolo. Um, we did awesome. We had a great race. It was lots of fun. Bumps were not really there, but a little bit every now and then. Um, What's Lizzie's quote? What's Lizzie's quote? Best, Best day, day ever. ever. <laughs> yeah, very fun. We just finished 45 k's of. Uh, Pedlin and yeah, it's a, we've never done this before and it's actually our first time and uh, good to learn new things. It was tough, should be honest with that and yeah, yeah, we just, uh, we just wanted to get out here and just see how it goes and maybe from there we'll build on and yeah, yeah, uh, we're representing Coconuts Club but we're from PNG as well. And yeah, three of us in this crew are we we're, we're in the uh, national team, PNG national team, and we're preparing for uh, SP Games this year, November in Solomon Islands. And it's a good exposure for the three of us, and yeah, for the rest of the boys as well. Yeah. We uh, used today as a training run for our up and coming Samoa run. Um, and man, it was fun. We we all ran beautifully. We're very very excited because that was a really strong day today. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're we're pretty stoked. Like we each other. Yeah. And we have enough yak. Yeah. Look at it. So beautiful. It, yeah. 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 We are ready. We're ready yeah, to do this really thing. Some yeah. ladies. <laughs> So this is just a big thank you to everyone that's um, competed today. It's been an absolutely fantastic race. We've had 60-odd craft that have crossed over the line. There have been big smiles on their faces. There's people that have worked hard. There's been lots of sweat and probably some tears as well. But um, all in all, it's been a fantastic race. We thank you all for attending and making this one of the best races in Australia. What an epic week of paddling up here in the beautiful Cairns region. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the hosting club, Hikili OCC, for putting on an absolutely awesome event. We would also like to thank our partners and our media support boat drivers for making this coverage possible. We look forward to seeing you next time on Paddle Life TV.